Hey kitties, welcome to Spirit Kitty Tarot. This is a fire sign and a water sign reading. So check out the timestamps, they will be given down below. And I also try to post um, a comment for the timestamp separately, so you can check that out. And um, let's get started. We are starting with Leo. So let's see what we have for you, Leo. We have the Nine of Pentacles, so there is possibly something that um, financial that's coming up. Possibly you are potentially looking for a new endeavor that you are um, taking on. And um, it's really good for you right now. It's looking good. It has um, a good paying potential and um, income and uh, financial potential. and. Um, with the six of pentacles there is something that um, you will possibly be signing some contracts which you wouldn't really know much about so you kind of would be going into something honestly blindly to a certain degree because you feel that you need this opportunity right now and you feel good about it but you might need to look at it more carefully and um, analyze the contract more and even get someone else to look at, at it for you so they can really give you an objective outlook and with the ace of wands there is possibly a, a flame that is coming your way it's possibly a recent past flame and um, this person wants to make it clear that they want to be with you with the ten of cups this person wants to build a family with you and they see a long-term relationship with you and they even um, suggest having children so um, so possibly if one of you is uh, has this situation and um, this person says this with the king of pentacles you want to focus more on your financial um, side of your life and with the judgment there is something that happens where you feel that they don't really see your side to things and they are judging the situation on their own biases with the three of wands there is another option that you have in terms of love and you also don't see them um, the other side to this coin is that you don't really see them as a potential option for you a viable love offer for you with the three of cups there is a triangle that's happening here and we have a third party situation, someone that we are involved with, but we don't really um, see them as an, a long-term relationship with the five of wands. There's the conflict that potentially would be happening in the near future. And let's see how that goes. With the three of pentacles, it revolves a potential financial um, opportunity for you and this person doesn't really want you to take it and um, so I'm getting a very specific s scenario here and um, I don't know how comfortable you would be for me to talk about it but um, yeah so there is potentially someone in the situation where they had um, conception with someone and um, with the temperance there is making the best of the situation and um, trying to really salvage the situation as best as possible and even going beyond that to create something better so who is doing that and what really happened you would know best with the world card there is a new chapter of life that we are seeking for ourselves there is a new beginning that we want and um, so we are trying to make it happen and um, with the two few <laughs> With the Wheel of Fortune, there is luck that comes your way and um, the universe is telling you that you need to brace yourself and um, commit to something so luck can actually come your way and you can really manifest it because you have to leave the, the unlucky part of it behind because there's something, a situation that isn't lucky for you or it's just not giving you what you need. You have to leave it behind for good things to come your way in abundance. To finally seek you out and um, it might even be at your doorstep you just don't 
um, you just need to step over the threshold of the doorway and seek it. So with the Queen of Wands, there is um, you are gaining more confidence. You are gaining more um, sustainability in terms of emotional stability. And um, so there is a lot of things that are happening. You want to be mentally much better than you were before um, in your recent past and um, you're trying to be more healthy and um, you're going towards wellness of your mental um, <laughs> mentally and um, with the ten of swords there is a complication that isn't really ending and um, finally we do see it coming to a close with the ten of swords it is coming to an end and it's potentially dying so with the eight of swords you are resurrecting the problem so there's something that was completely moving towards a closure but you go back to it and um, you seek it out for yourself and that the cycle begins again so with the high priestess there's something that your subconscious mind and your unconscious mind so the unconscious is giving the messages to the subconscious and it might even be manifesting in your dreams but you are honestly not listening to it and um, so with the moon card it is someone that is in your life who is potentially someone that is very nurturing they have a very nurturing energy potentially a mother figure or just someone that brings you that really wholesome nurturing energy that gives you an advice you don't really think much of it and you dismiss it to a certain degree but with the magician there is a change and shift in your actions because your unconscious mind does want you to listen to this person because it it was giving you the similar message but um so you have to also choose it very consciously and actively with the king of swords there's someone that changes their demeanor and changes their approach. So the person that came back to you will be changing their approach. It was much more compassionate and uh, much more passionate than the before, but now it changes and um, potentially and uh, essentially this person comes back by having an aggressive approach to things they want you and they don't want to take no more for an answer with the seven of pentacles um so there's someone that steps into the situation because they think that your judgment does not sound right now you are uh, being swayed by your emotions and you are not thinking clearly because they see how you were before they came back into your life and how you were determined to move away from this connection but when they came back they stirred some things in you that your judgment became clouded and this person tries to make you see how you wanted things before and um, so with the page of cups there is now you coming to terms with them something and even verbalizing it addressing it with this person you will be talking to this past person that came back and with the knight of cups there's someone else okay so there's a third party situation that keeps coming back so <laughs> there is someone that is new and um, potentially younger or just someone that's that has that outlook and um, optimism and innocence even in their approach might not be a young, younger person it's just that their energy is much more I, I want to say wholesome but we don't know so yeah so with the hanged man there is um you might be needing time to evaluate things and um, really go back to how you wanted things but keep coming back so there's there's um there's a paradox that's happening you want something and you don't want something at the same time you want that you want to move away from this person but you don't want to move away from them because it just feels that they are familiar to you and so it might even be a trauma bond that this is you are attracted to each other and pulled towards each other because you have similar traumas and with the knight of swords it might be time for you to reevaluate why you moved towards them in the start and why it didn't really work out why you had um, 
this connection pan out as it did with the king of cups they are trying to connect with you on a soul level and they want to be more vulnerable to you in their approach with the five of pentacles you boom will move away and um, you essentially want to move to a financial new opportunity so let's close this leo and um, with the star card you are trying to manifest things into your life and it might even be you seeking independence from this person financially at least if not emotionally so to the last card we have seven of wands and things are going to be a bit difficult in this month for you but you have the power to conquer it and come out of it on the other side a much better person you just have to believe in yourself and um, the message from your guides is strategy and it's the red fox it's telling you to be tactful in your approach and strategize things think things more um, clearly and uh, weigh the options you have you might even have more than you think and um, so weigh the pros and cons and if the bad is more than the good you might need to leave it behind so there you have it and um, let's see what we have Aries for you okay so Aries we have the Queen of Pentacles and it is financial stability that we are seeking you might be even turning to um, wanting the independence for yourself and um, it's even moving away from depending on your people around you or family even and um, so this is you coming into your own independence and wanting to stand on your own two feet with the ace of swords in reverse there is something you are waiting for an opportunity you put it potentially might have applied somewhere and you're waiting to hear from there with the eight of pentacles but there is money that you need right now it's something that you are lacking you feel that you need financial stability right now to opt for things that you want there are things that you wanted for yourself but you're not able to with the four of wands there is a love offer that doesn't really feel right so there's someone that wants you to be with them but you don't really feel that they are because honestly with the four of wands it's supposed to be a marriage card and it's supposed to um, tell you that it's a soul connection but I think that you are not ready for it with the five of cups there is you are looking at the negative and focusing on it rather than the positive with the six of swords there is something that you have left behind potentially a love offer potentially a relationship that you've left behind with the five of wands it became too um too i uh, yeah it was very much chaotic and um, you both were each other's um, throats in at one point and you didn't really feel that it was healthy for you with the world you moved away from them and you wanted change for yourself you wanted positivity with the eight of swords there is still the the residual um, trauma that's still plaguing you with the king of swords there's someone that they they potentially come back and um, the ex comes back and approaches you they want you to meet them and um, with the king of pentacles you are you are busy but you i think you will be making time for them but let's see how your approach is with the nine of pentacles you are very much focused on your own independence and um, so you engage in it but you are very much um, able to pull away from it when you want with the six of pentacles there's something at work that is bothering you there's someone that um, isn't really being fair and this person bugs you a lot actually with the ace of wands um, so there's right so there's a pro possibility that there was a project that you wanted to take on and um, 
with the Ten of Cups there is and because of this person there was some difficulty but you eventually got it with the Ten of Cups there is the, the family is coming together and um, so I don't really see it as a love um, relationship or connection that you are in and you are meeting them or connecting with them but rather I think that it's a familial setting with the eight of wands there is passion brewing between two people that are in your family not necessarily you and you see them and it it um, brings something um, it makes you feel a certain way you want a similar thing for yourself but you're not sure you want love in your life but you're not really sure how to go about it or even if you want it with the six of wands you are hmm. so i'm not sure what this is but there is there are a lot of people that you you're not really getting along with you you might be meeting friends that are very much opinionated about a certain scenario or situation that you are in and they give they voice you, their opinions and you don't really take it all that well with the seven of swords there is someone that has um, their sights on you and um, so you've moved away from this situation and um, so they keep coming back they keep it's you can see in this card that the wolf is stalking and um, coming near to the person and um, they have the swords they have the means to protect themselves but they're not really using it using it as protection but rather they're running away from the situation so it might be what you are experiencing with the hierophant there's someone that wants to give you advice it might be someone that is willing to give you a new opportunity or at least um, engage with you in some way and something that you you think that it's timely and due so there's this opportunity that that's coming your way i think it's not an even an opportunity it's something that it's it's meeting new people so you can potentially get more offers in work and um, with the justice you feel that it's um it's the right time and it's coming to you because you deserve it so with the last card for you aries two of wands <laughs> So there are two offers that come your way and um, you are taking on two things at the same time. And um, there's a lot of passion that you are um, even, you are involved in this situation and um, with a lot of passion and you want things to work out for you. Aries, um, I hope this helped. And um, let's see what we have for you. Sagittarius, right. Let me change the deck. Okay, so we have the lovers. Right, so there is a love offer that is seeking you out. This person wants you to be with you with the five of chalices. So there is, um, you are focusing on something that has happened in the past and you want to see them in a certain light because you expect them to <laughs> screw up but this person hasn't actually yet with the judgment card you are on the edge of your seat waiting for them to screw up and uh, so there's certainly some prejudice that you are holding on to um, it's just being cautious it's just it's not really judgment in any way but you are just cautious and um, so with the seven sorry with the four of swords this person is trying to communicate with you exactly what they feel they think that you are um, focusing on the negative and um, even choosing to do so with the full card it is um, they're ready to communicate with you anyway you feel you should um, they should and uh, so they are very much hoping to connect with you on a deeper level and with the eight of pentacles they are a, um, really a workaholic in many ways they are 
immersing themselves in work all the time because they have goals set for themselves with the ten of swords there is there's something that weighs them down and it's possibly your connection with them they they've been waiting for you to um quote these um qualms and things that um doubts that you have about them but it doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon with the seven of wands you change the topic <laughs> question mark okay so when they start discussing things you are not open to this discussion and um with you <laughs> it's just funny with the five of pentacles it's um right so there is a lot of trauma that you are still holding on to and you can't seem to let them come close to you because you fear losing them and with the seven of pentacles you you do see them as um, someone that you can build a life with and they seem someone that you have wanted as a connection for a long time but it's it's just the past is plaguing you and uh, with the six of pentacles they are bestowing i don't know no sorry scratch that they are um because you can see the card that's kind of the energy bestowing but no they they want to gift you a lot of things they want to really um spoil you in a lot of ways as much as they can with the four of pentacles it's um right um okay so you hold on to your love still you can see that in the card it's a person that doesn't want to let go of the coins and the wealth they have accumulated so the wealth here in your case it's the love that you hold on for them but you don't want to let it go so you don't want them to really know how much you care about them with the sun card um there is something that slips <laughs> this is just a funny scenario because um it's a it's a freudian slip or it's something that happens you are going to express your feelings for them accidentally i'm really sorry for this but um with the queen king of swords you will revert back to how your um it's a tisundre really connection your your approach is you give a little bit of your affection and then you pull away with the eight of wands um they are still trying to communicate with you you're becoming distant distant and um, after you confess potentially in a very indirect way and <laughs> um, unwillingly really you um, pull away and they are trying to approach you and um, so they're constantly sending you messages not constantly but you know they're they are trying to approach you with the seven of chalices um, you choose your own freedom and you even see it as liberation you don't want any connection right now and you don't want someone to hold on to you right now because you feel the burden of it and you don't want to be bound that's how you see it re relationships right now and with the world card it's a, um, a change in approach that you are seeking even you are even asking yourself why you feel this way why do you see relationships like that and why you even see this person and even though they they're being really everything you want them to be it's just that it's not happening for you and the last card for you Sagittarius is the star card and um, it's the message here is the last thing from the universe is to tell you that you can bring it into the universe if you want if you seek it it will happen for you you just need to seek it if you want so there you have it Sagittarius I hope this helped and um, let's see what we have for um, we were doing what a sign along with it so Pisces how <laughs> I was about to say how are you so how are you <laughs> and let's see what we have for you <laughs> and um, follow me on Instagram so you will know what um, the schedule is for the day I post what reading would be up uploaded on my channel um, during the day and you'll know what which video is being uploaded that day 
it's by the same name spirit kitty tarot you can find it and it will also be in the description box so pisces let's see with the knight of cups there is someone that is coming into your life someone that is potentially traveling to meet you and with the death card it's um it's a rebirth it's an end of some potentially past cycle that was happening and um, you feel that you're letting go of a lot of things you were holding on to things that were not serving you with the emperor card it's um this person is not stealth in their approach they um have a very direct approach and they even um right so um <laughs> so in their approach they want you they want a long-term thing with you and um I'm seeing um, a talk about a proposal or something. So, if you, yeah, if if that's your situation with the King of Pentacles, it's um, right. So this person is very much um, financially stable, and so are you. You, you are not um, dependent on them in any way in financial, um, in financially with the two of pentacles you both are headstrong and you both see things the way you do and um so it's not if you see it as a venn diagram you would see that you both are like this you don't really there's not a it's not something that you have a middle here in your approach there's two different things that you still are coming together and um, it's also a lot of clashes that happen in your connection but you're trying to make it work you're trying to see each other's perspective as much as you can and trying to make something beautiful out of it with the ace of wands in reverse there's something that um, you're willingly not seeing and because with the ace of wands it's you can see that's a light and in the darkness you are not looking at it you are also sub subsequently um, pushing something sweeping something under the rug and with the devil card it's going to be the detriment to this connection if you don't look at it right now because it's it's right now the time to resolve it as much as you can in the moment because you don't want um, yeah this to affect you in the future if you don't really um, resolve it right now with the strength card, it's going to um, take a lot of strength from you. It's going to be asking you um, to be calm and collected more than you have been before and um, to, to potentially address the situation with the Six of Cups. There is more than one love offer that you have, but you choose this person because you want them. With the Two of Swords, there is um you are focusing on um, some aspects of the situation which are not really the entirety of it you need to focus on the broader spectrum of the scenario rather than just focusing really um, um zooming in on <laughs> uh, some parts of it with the queen of wands it's um the person that you're connected to is really passionate and you are very much attracted to this person and um, i even see that there is a lot of physical attraction here but um not but sorry with the lover's card it's a soul connection that's happening and um you are finally seeing each other for the entirety of each other how you um you're engaging with each other on a soul level with the two ten of wands this relationship moves to the next step and um, with the empress you are in your approach very much nurturing and um, you want to nurture this connection into being something greater than it is with the hermit card there's something um, there's something you haven't really talked to them about and um, you've been hiding um, your own emotions from them in many ways and um, so they don't really have a clear view of everything that you feel about them. So there's something um, with the Queen of Cups, you finally start addressing those things and communicating with the Page of Wands. 
Um, so the recurring thing here is you are in the state of connecting with each other, wanting each other, and then there, there are some miscommunications or lack of communication, honestly, but um, we're finally able to engage in these conversations and really build something. So the last card for you, after the King of Cups, this person also has a lot of things to say and they understand you. They want to wholeheartedly understand where you're coming from and they want to engage in anything that can make, make this better for you and for them. So subsequently for them with the Ace of Swords. So this person is very much willing to make it more comfortable for you and make this connection more deeper and even something that's sustainably long lasting. With the Ace of Swords, this person is, um, no, so this is you. You are in your approach kind of detached and um, you want to have a, an indifferent approach to this. I don't know why. We just had a heart to heart conversation and then we pulled away. You had a, a pulling away because I think that it's, um, I shouldn't be really, yeah, saying my own opinion here, but it's um, in, in the terms of the cards, it's you are pulling away and um, becoming in, indifferent in your approach, not necessarily what you feel. With the Knight of Wands, um, so um, this person is very much willing to understand you and they concede. So there's a lot of, um, yeah, this person is willing to understand you and let's see what we have from your guides with the wolf card. It is authenticity and um, it's telling you to be your authentic self and whatever you're feeling, just um, address it and communicate it and we will move on from there. So there you have it, Pisces. I hope this helped and um, let's see, we are doing cancer now. <laughs> okay. Cancer, what do we have for you? Right, um, we have a lot of love offers from which we are only choosing this person. We have potentially a lot of love offers that are coming our way, but there's someone that we choose over all of them. And um, so this person is in many ways, uh, right, um, they're not, a healthy connection for you right now at least it's not how it, it's looking right now this person um, cuts you down when they have an opportunity to and they even leave you feeling abandoned when so it's just how I'm seeing the situation not my opinion but um, it's they do feel you can see that they leave you because they feel overwhelmed by the situation and after that you feel abandoned and you feel that they were very much cutthroat in their approach. With the three of wands in reverse, it is, um, you're not really moving forward from this. You are stagnant and um, not able to make any um, decisions about this. And um, you're kind of in a limbo state. With the five of pentacles, it's someone that comes to you and tells you, addresses the situation for you and um, gives you the advice to move forward and um, seek proper boundaries for yourself and even um, try to make this better for yourself in whatever way you can. If the situation isn't really healthy for you, you need to make it healthy, whether it's distancing yourself from this person. With the Nine of Pentacles, it's so it's affecting your um, financial side of things. And um, so this person is not really making you feel comfortable emotionally. And it's also affecting your financial side. With the nine of wands, um, so there's some conversation that eventually happens very naturally and um, organically. So you do stand up for your release and um, so you address something with the ten of cups they are putting those doubts to rest potentially at the moment and um, they 
they tell you that they have a lot of feelings for you and they want you to feel good about yourself and them and um, with the Hierophant it's um, you're disillusioned to the whole thing honestly but you're not addressing it you don't really let them know you feel it but you don't want to feel it with the four of four swords it's time to really see it clearly but it's you are fighting your own self you're fighting the the voice in your head that keeps telling you that it, it should be better than this with the three of cups it's um i think that there's someone in your family or someone that you're close to that steps into the this connection and um addresses this with them talks to them and um the hanged man is telling us that the situation doesn't really go forward from here. This person is um, regretful in their own about their own behavior, and um, it ends there. So this conversation ends after they submit to um, their own faults, and um, really, it's an accountability that they are taking on. With the Temperance card, the times after that are going to be calmer. It's going to be they're going to be better in their approach with the seven of pentacles it's going to um definitely affect um your financial side and um so it's going to be really good for you stable financially and with the eight of pentacles and by the way i i know that there are a lot of people that are not working in jobs right now because my own viewers i'm saying because some of them are students and um if you if the financial side could also be just your academic side the things so um right sorry <laughs> with the knight of wands it's um you are also trying to move towards better things for yourself and um creates sustainability for yourself with the knight of wands it's um we are Right, so they, they're going to be addressing something you did, you did, and um, so it's um, with the Six of Pentacles, you're not really, um, you're not understanding why they are bringing this past thing up, and um, with the Queen of Swords, it's, you are becoming um, defensive because it's um you don't really understand why they are saying it rather than your approach being um i don't know but um so you're both defensive they are defensive and that's why they counterattack in some way and a preemptive strike if you will and um you are being defensive rather than um putting them to ease and um your approach would be to a certain degree starting off that way but then after some words you will be approaching it in that way because they they're really defensive about this with the judgment in reverse things are again in a limbo state because um there's no real um outcome that comes out of this you are going to be just pacifying each other and moving on from there so the last card for you is the Page of Swords in reverse and um, we're not moving forward from here. We are kind of stuck and uh, uncertainty is very much clouding us and um, it's like a cloud that's um, approaching in forever on us that it feels like forever. And um, so the message from your guides is shark, its purpose and it's telling you to have your priorities straightened up and aligned and essentially keep your priorities in your <laughs> keep them keep your sight on them and really move towards things that you want and um, yeah so there you have it cancer i hope this helped and um, let's see what we have for you scorpio let me change the deck Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands 
it's um, a love offer that's coming our way and with the fool in reverse you are not optimistic about this you are pessimistic about this you don't really um, you're not um, wanting a relationship right now you don't really want romance at least the idea of it you want but when it approaches you you step back from it and with the justice card they are someone that presents themselves as all that you want and um, so there's honestly the scales in this case are one of them is everything that um, the past things the past traumas the past um, situations on one side and the other is everything that they present themselves as as they everything that you think that is good in them and um, so it's balancing out and you don't really yeah so no no scale is tipping over with the eight of wands you are um, moving away from this and shying away from this connection with the seven of pentacles you want financial security for yourself and stability with the empress card you are very much connected with your um the female um, um maternal figure in your life and someone that you're very close to you you're sharing your inner deepest feelings with this person with the nine of cups it's um so you're building a reconnecting with this person and building more and more of a connection with this person with the nine of cups in reverse it's um you are having a lot of you you're seeing a lot of love offers for yourself but you are um having doubts about all of them and um so you're not really engaging in any of them with the eight of cups it's um there are possibly past some past connection that you still hold a candle for and um, some past flame that you're not able to forget this person essentially um, uh, changes all of your connections it um, you want to be with them and you didn't really get closure with them in some way and um, you're still seeking them out but you're not really seeking them out are you you're trying to manifest them but you are not engaging with them with the king of cups this person is very much fascinated with you this person that you are not really talking to and um, you, you might be talking to them it's just that you're not telling them how you feel and um, with the page of wands it's um, I think they they contact you and um, so they're sending you some signals in some ways and um, with the four of swords you are doubting this and um, so there's something that happened which made you think that no they, they can't possibly be um, putting themselves out there for me and um, so with the lovers card it's you hold a lot of love for each other and um, with the five of cups it's you are focusing on the negative rather than seeing what the reality is of the situation they are here they are communicating with you they want you and with the chariot card it's movement that finally happens something that um, they want for um, for both of you and um, of course you want this as well with the queen of pentacles you are approaching this connection still as a platonic thing with the seven of, i phrased it in a way right with the seven of wands um there is there's something that you're still holding on to um you you are in some ways telling them that you want this but in not a direct approach you think that you are also sending them some signs that you want this per person and con connection but um, in reality it's very much mixed signals you pull away and you still want them and you pull away when they come close to you with the two of pentacles 
it's the juggling that is happening between you two. You want a platonic relationship. You don't want a platonic relationship. And with the Ace of Cups, the message comes through. And um, so they, they will be approaching you in a slightly direct manner. You both are very much shy about this um, in your approach with the Three of Cups. You might be meeting someone um, else with them. And um, so there is a three group of three, you and them and another person that's meeting. So it's a, f um, you're being comfortable that way with them and with the Ten of Swords. There's something that um, they say something or something happens that without even talking to them about this, without even them suggesting this, what you are going to be interpreting from whatever happens, you pull away. You assume and you pull away. There's a presumption, um, presumptuous um, thing that's happening. You are assuming that they mean this and you pull away. So the last card for you is the Six of Wands. You might need to be more direct in your approach. And when you deem that they mean something that you are not sure of, address it, ask them. And if you feel that it's not, they're not going to be comfortable with that, um, maybe not assume, maybe give them some benefit of the doubt. And um, I hope this goes well for you. And the messages from your guides is, we have Wolverine, it's fierceness, it's directness, and it is telling you to move towards things that you want. And um, yeah, be, be fierce, not fierce, don't be aggressive in your approach, but be determined and um, there you have it i i hope this helped thank you for being here thank you for subscribing and i hope you have a great day and i hope this helped